Uh, protect your joints. Um, distinguishing between good and bad pain. Pain was my enemy when I was younger. There was no bad pain. You just work through that shit. Don't do that. If it's, there's a difference between good pain and bad pain. And uh, I was telling Dave the other day, like, I think by the time I turned pro, I, I was wrapping my wrists, my elbows, my knees, I had, I had a belt. I wish I could wrap my shoulders. I just didn't know how I'd wrap that and still train. And everything hurt. And it was primarily because I was going to failure and doing hit day in and day out. And so I finally just threw away all those, all those things and said, I'm going to lift weight that I can lift weight and it's not going to hurt. And so um, definitely distinguish between good and bad pain. Some other ways is stopping short of lockout on pressing movements, which I always thought, you know, in my younger years, it's blasphemy because they're always yelling, lock it out, lock it out. You may have to lock it out in powerlifting, but in bodybuilding, like you don't need to lock it out and locking it out is probably why two of my last training partners had to have their elbows scoped because I was yelling at them to lock it out. Um, sh stopping short on uh, pressing movements and then maintaining hip mobility. Um, I do hot yoga three days a week and people probably look at me really weird when I'm in there, you know, like, there's, peop there's old dudes that are like Gumby and girls that are like all twisted up and I can't hardly do it. Like, I just try to balance, you know, like that's enough for me. Um, but that type of stuff's good because, you know, I'm powerlifters for sure are always training like the same move movement pattern. Bodybuilders tend to vary it a, a bit more, but even still, you know, like how often are bodybuilders like able to like balance on one leg? Like there's a lot of muscles firing right now that you don't use. Um, so get outside your comfort zone and find something like that. Um, and the yoga, the, all, all the stretching stuff help, helps to maintain my hip mobility. Um, intelligently se sequencing exercises. I spoke with some guys earlier about don't grab a 100 pound dumbbell and do seated trice overhead tricep extensions as your first exercise unless you want to kill your elbow joints. Um, it's okay to do some of that stuff, but do it like at the end of your workout when you're really, the joint's really warm, the muscles are really pumped and fatigued so you don't have to use as heavy a weight to help protect your joints. Increased training frequency. Um, I train four days a week at least up until I turned pro. So all my 20s, first part of my 30s, I'm 42 as of last month. Um, I trained four days a week and anyone that said to train more was a pussy because they didn't train hard enough. That's why they had to train more often. Like if you train hard enough, you can't train more than four days a week. So um, I've learned that as I've gotten older, um, increasing the frequency has actually helped. And John Meadows was instrumental in that in regards to his primary and secondary workouts. If you're not familiar with that, the primary workouts are more pushing to failure, using intensity techniques, oftentimes greater volume. Um, and then the secondary workouts are more of the explosive work, the just get a pump, definitely always stopping short of failure. Um, just get blood into the muscle. And I found that those, th those were, are designed to help you recover so you can train harder on your primary days. But what I've learned and why I'm saying primary, uh, excuse me, secondary is primary, is that those secondary workouts are almost as, as important, if not more so than my primary, simply because they allow me to recover so much better and, ha and I have such more productive primary workouts. And so I hit most body parts twice a week, which is way more volume than I would have ever said was appropriate. Um, but half of those workouts are lighter, pump, explosive, um, get blood to the muscle, and the other ones are more of, more of the grinding, the heavier weight. So maintaining positive life balance, training, work, family, faith, there's my family. That's me when I was a little leaner. 
Um, Julia is my youngest here on this side. She's the soccer player in the family. Lauren is the middle, middle one there. She loves downhill skiing and is my track runner. My wife, Christina, she does everything. Um, and then Maddie, Madison, uh, my oldest, is a cheerleader and competes in that. Um, so what do I have to say about maintaining balance? I'm going to start with what are we created and designed for? And some of you may know that I, I'll say that I'm a Christian. Um, I use that term loosely. In fact, I hate that, the term, honestly, Christian, because in this day and age, Christians become a junk drawer where a lot of things are thrown that I think have nothing to do with the person and work of Jesus Christ. And so, you know, early on, actually, just after Jesus died, um, Christians back then were called followers of the way. And the, the reason that they were called that was because their lives actually looked something like Jesus' life. And now we have Christians who look nothing like Jesus' life. Um, they think they, you know, they think Jesus just wants us to memorize a, a verse and repeat it to him. Like this isn't like it's Simon Says or something. So I use that, I use that term loosely, and I, and I also want to ask you that, you know what, if you're not a Christian and you think the Bible is a bunch of garbage, totally cool with that. That's fine. But please just hear me out for just a minute, and let's set aside that preconceived notion that the, gar that the Bible is garbage. And let's just say, listen, if, just what if, there's a creator? What if there's somebody that set the stars in the sky, set the universe in, in its orbit, and, and has tied all this together, has created me, has created you? Like the human body is a ridicul ridiculously crazy, intricate piece of machinery, if you will. Like the way things work, I mean, it's amazing what we can do. It, it blows my mind when I come in here and see some of you guys squat, some of you powerlifter guys squatting. Like it's it just, it's awesome. Um, if there's a creator that created us, it just stands to reason that his design for our life is better. Because he knows us better than anyone. He made us. And so... I guess that's, that's why I'm, I'm starting with this slide, because any balance that's in my life, it's not tied to a superior daily planner, if you will. Like, I don't know how to manage my time so well that, that makes everything zen. Um, and my faith informs my role as a husband. My faith informs my role as a father. My faith informs my role as a bodybuilder. I can't separate out my faith from everything else. It informs my worldview on just about everything. And so um, here's my priority list. Follower of Jesus. And some people would say, wait a minute, your wife's not at the top. If I didn't follow Jesus and try to follow his example of how he says to love my wife, she would suffer. Trust me. <laughs> Because when I, when I go my own path, she suffers. So i got to follow him first. Secondarily, I'm a husband. And some would say, wait a minute, you got children, you got three girls. Like, your, your wife's more important than them? Yes. Because if my relationship with her is not on point, my kids will suffer. You want to see kids suffer? See their parents get a divorce. They'll suffer. Um, it's... It's, it's tough on them. So when, I, when, I'm, when they see the security that I have with my relationship with my wife, they're, ab they're able to have some, some room to flourish. And so third, I'm a, I'm a father to those three girls, and it's not easy. And I have... If you don't think God has a sense of humor, if you knew me as a teenager, he's freaking hilarious because he gave me three girls. 
because I was the guy that I hate. I'm the guy that I've knocked on the door and said, you're not 18 yet, so I'm not talking to you. Where's your dad? I want to talk to him about what you're texting my daughter. I've had to do that on multiple occasions. And God is hilarious because he gave me three girls. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, I'm a business owner. Obviously, I got to pay my bills. Um, so that's important. And a friend fell down in fifth. I wasn't actually sure where to put that. I mean, some of these things can slide depending on, you know, the time of the day or whatever. Um, but I'm definitely a friend and, and I want to have guys that know me um, that I, and that I'm in relationship with. And by friend, I don't mean Facebook friend because I've got 5,000 Facebook friends and most of them are not my friends. Um, deep relationships are, are way different than social media acquaintances. Um, and lastly, I am a bodybuilder. And at times of the year, that bodybuilder uh, moves up the list in terms of where my focus tends to be. Um, and, and I got to pay that back after the contest. I take, I take more time with my wife, more time with my kids. You know, it has to be a give and take. I'm, I, I'm not so naive to think that bodybuilding doesn't impact the rest of that, those priorities, but it can't encroach upon and be more important than those other things. Built for work. Um, most of us, you know, depending on, on who I'm speaking with, and, and there's women in the room too, and, and this applies to you, we're all made in the image and likeness of God. Um, but men, men in this room probably don't have a problem with working hard. Um, I don't see many dudes that are, that are regular in the gym. Um, they, they tend to have a discipline in their life that spills over to other things. And we tend to be, we, we tend to overwork probably more than underwork. Um, that isn't, I mean, it's not always the case, but I will say, um, you know, that we're built for that. Um, the, the account of Genesis in, in the beginning of the Bible, God takes the man and puts him in a garden and says, work, subdue it, uh, fill, the, fill the earth, multiply. And we all love that because multiply means have sex. But he, but he also said, work. Um, so we're built to work. And, and I think that's why we want to set records. We want to win the USA. We want to win the Olympia. We want to see how fast that car can go. We want to see how, how tall we can build that building. Like, it's in us to want to build and, and produce and do things like that. And, and I think God put that there. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs>